I think you know the chemical industry in general it really could take a re-examination almost every process. Um, so historically, uh, chemistry was like a main part of the U.S. economy, and in recent years, its returns haven't been high enough, and so there has been a lot of investment. But I think this opens up the possibility to re reassess things and find a lot of new opportunities to make new investments and improve the productivity of the chemical sector in the economy. Um, away from that, there's kind of a nascent industry of uh, using biotechnology to make materials and to make chemicals. Um, you know, they call it the, the biorefinery, the idea that you could take a plant and then just have it spit out you know, whatever you want. And it's possible with genetic engineering that you could actually make the microorganisms make all kinds of things that are very difficult to make by conventional chemical processes. Um, but trying to work that out of how you start from plant material, which is kind of a mess, and end up with the pure products that you want is quite a trick. But I think that this, this kind of technology can let you at least scope out ideas about that and see which things actually could work out. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I'm fortunate to be at MIT. Um, MIT has a long history of working really well with industry. And the industry that comes here to work with us, they're serious, they want to work with us. And our students want to work with them. It's, it's really like a marriage made in heaven. Um, so I've really enjoyed being here. Um, when I used, to, I used to work in industry myself, and I would give out projects to other universities, and it didn't always work that way. But here you have a place that's, the whole culture of this place is about trying to get things done. We're engineers, we want to solve the problems. And, uh, and we're fast and we're in a hurry. And the industry is always fast and in a hurry too. And so our, our time scale is more closely matched to the industry time scale than you'll find most places. Um, and the students are smart. Um, the, the students here, uh, the, 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 the tuition, the, the rate we charge the companies to support our students is higher than it is a lot of places. Um, but you, know, you get what you pay for. And, and you know, I'm very happy I came here to work with the, the brightest students in the world. It's really been a really great pleasure. I'd say the best interactions have been through the MIT Energy Initiative. Um, that's uh, really good at pulling together industry and then several professors at MIT to attack a problem. So for example, in the IGCC project, we worked on about probably eight or nine professors that cover the whole range of capabilities that were needed to tackle that problem. I, I, none of us could have been able to do it ourselves. But in that situation, the company could say, we want work in this area and we want to find you know, a half dozen professors all working on related things in that area and then pull together a coherent team. And then we had big enough funding that we could actually have a person be the executive director of that program to actually have it make sure it was a coherent program. We all worked together very effectively. And so that's worked very well. For example, with BP, we've had many years of really good research together. Um, but I've also worked a lot of small projects too. And so sometimes, uh, for example, the industrial liaison program will bring in uh, companies and they're looking to try to find a partner because they have a particular research need. And so I tell them what I can do, they tell me what their needs are, sometimes we find a match and we've had a lot of uh, nice uh, interactions there. It's great for the students, so the engineering students, um, they want to do something that's useful and practical and you know real, not just theoretical. And that's the best way. If you do an industrial partnership and you have some industrial scientist at the company, he really cares about the solution. He's really motivated to encourage the student to do good work on it. It makes the students feel great. They feel like they're really doing something that really matters. Someone really cares. It's really, it's not just uh, for publishing a journal paper, but it's, you know, there's a chance that they, what they invent might actually, you know, become to something soon in the real world.